Yo, what's up, fam? So today, so today, it is a beautiful spring day out in Germany, and I got some cool stuff to do, and that I've been waiting to do for a while. I've been holding on to these parts to try to gather them all up. Now I finally got all the pieces, so I'm gonna be pretty much like updating my car exterior lights with LED. I have LED rear tail lights. I have. LED low beam headlights. I have my LED license plates lights. I don't know if you see that too well. My LED reverse lights. My LED third brake light. I probably don't have to keep saying LED, huh? <laughs> and then, and then I have a hyper flash strobe controller. Uh, for my third brake light. So when I hit the brakes, my third brake light will strobe. And then, and then I have the brains behind the whole operation. And so what this is, is a hyper flash harness. So when you install LEDs on cars that didn't originally uh, have them, and sometimes they will flash like very rapidly and it can cause damage. So like this just helps to prevent that from happening. So I'm pretty much just gonna go through the whole process of installing all of this stuff. Well, I'm gonna start first with the disassembly of my license plate area right here. I'm gonna take out the reverse light uh, cover right here. Then I'm going to do my LED license plate lights. I'm not sure if you can see that. Then from there, I'm gonna do my third brake light and my tail lights. So let's hop straight into the disassembly. All right, so I just now got done uh, taking everything apart. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what I did. So first I started by taking out the center panel where the reverse lights go with my license plate. So it's, Forward Torx 15 uh, screws all around. Pretty simple, you take those out, pull it straight out. And then I came to my headlights, where it's also a Torx 15. Uh, it's two in each headlight, excuse me, two in each tail light, where I took them out, took them all out, and then I just reached in under here and just pushed them out. It was too easy and disconnected them. I then came here with my license plate lights, and it's also two, two Torx of 15 screws so I just did the same thing there so now all I have left is my third brake light and and so in order to do your third brake light there's two screws holding it on and it's uh nine and thirty seconds a socket and that you'll need I'm gonna have to reach in to get it so I'll just go ahead and knock that out right quick all right so I just now test out my light and it works fine, uh, it looked good, I liked it. So now all I gotta do is just go ahead and splice it to install my strobe connector right here. And see how that goes. All right, dope. And so the most difficult part of this whole process is already done and that was the third brake light. So now I'm just gonna go into a time lapse of me like just replacing all the bulbs and putting all the new stuff in. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. I think it's gonna look pretty dope though. I got a good feeling about this one. Uh, so I wasn't able to get the time lapse because I didn't put the, <laughs> because I didn't put my camera in time lapse mode. But whatever, it's all good. But I'm all finished with the install. I think it looks pretty dope. Uh, I got my homeboy in the car right now. so. He going to do like a little like demonstration right quick, so. All right, man, go ahead. clean hey man this joint look really good so right now um i'm about to go ahead and move into the led headlight install and so that should be real simple i'm just doing my low beams 
and then after that I'm going to install my hyper flash harness then I'm done these are the actual headlights uh, they're double-sided LED headlight they have fans in the rear um, and they're super quiet and they're supposed to have a long life so we'll see I think the build quality was pretty good I forget exactly how much I paid for these but they weren't too expensive at all like they make the car look a lot more modern uh, especially at night all right so these are my headlight assemblies here so if you see you got a screw right there it's just a Phillips hair and you got two more screws right here so I'm just gonna pull off this right here and then I'll be able to get access to my actual headlight bulbs So I'm all done with the headlight install. Uh, it's a pretty simple install, you know. It's not really too time consuming. It probably took me like 10 minutes. And that's just because I had to like play with the angles. This is the final result, you know, like pretty white light here. I know it's daytime, so you can't really see. But at the end of the video, I'll make sure to get some, make sure to get some nighttime footage. Part of this video, and that's Hyper Flash uh, Harness. So this may be a tad bit more tricky because I got to take apart the bottom of the dash in order to get to it, but it shouldn't be too crazy at all. And so for the Hyper Flash Harness install, I have to remove this button right here, this right here, undo two Torx brick screws. I have to undo two screws under here, which, and this is to drop this panel in order to get access to the harness that we're spliced into. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. And then once all this stuff is removed, I'll go ahead and come back and show you exactly that way you plug in the harness up. I got the knee pad plate removed right here. And this is the harness right here that we'll be splicing into. So all I'm gonna be doing is plugging up the hyper flash harness in between these two harnesses right here. Maybe I can do it on camera. So that's the hyper flash harness right here. It's installed. I'm gonna turn on the car right now to see if my blankets have slowed down <laughs> or if I just wasted 45 bucks. <laughs> this is a video without the hyper flash harness installed. You can see it's a little bit quicker than normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then you'll be able to see the difference. All right, and this is how it looks when the hyper flash harness is installed. So I, I definitely noticed a difference there, um, so I guess it's money well spent. All right, so I got one last surprise mod, um, in which I decided to do this today, like just because I already got the dash. I ripped the part, and it requires you to rip apart the dash in order to get it installed. So that is the clutch spring return kit. So in the C5 and C6 generation uh, Corvette, when you do pulls or if you're on track and you're at a high RPM for a sustained amount of time, and then the clutch pedal will get stuck to the floor. So this is just to keep bringing the clutch pedal back up. Like all it is is a clutch return spring, really. So it mounts to the pedal, kind of like that, comes over here like that. So whenever the clutch gets stuck to the ground, it'll just bring it back up automatically. So, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I'm not gonna need to tape it because, eh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. All right, y'all, so got everything I set out to get done today. I pooped. <laughs> yeah, so I got all straight out the work and just like went like straight to work on this. But yeah, you know, like all the lights are installed. Um, the lights are installed. I got the clutch pedal spring. I'm so excited to see how this thing looks at night. As always, if you enjoyed what you saw, please do like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? every big counts, right? But all right, I'm out. Peace.